just what young people do. I can show you if you like. <laughs> no, thanks. Phones of a talking to folk in my book, and that's that. Hiya. You all right, Michelle? Yeah, I'm just here for me one o'clock with Maria. Um, she's not back yet. She said something about a doctor's appointment, but she won't be long if you want to take a seat. All right, thanks. Cheers, kind of. Do you do this twitting, Lark? Tweeting? <laughs> no, I have enough trouble picking up my voicemails, to be honest. <laughs> Tell him for what you've had for breakfast. Who the heck's interested? I'd be surprised. <laughs> I already am. <laughs> Oh, Michelle, sorry I'm late. Um, I'm just nipping through the back of me five minutes. Oh, that's right. Are you OK? David mentioned you've been the doctors. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. Hiya. I've not got an appointment, but I just wondered whether you might be able to fit me in. Sorry, I can't. I'm fully booked. I can squeeze you in after Dennis if you like. Oh, yeah, that would suit me. Yeah. Won't be a minute. Thanks. Hey, what's up? Oh, this is sweet, isn't it? Me and my boyfriend's mum enjoying a girly afternoon in the salon together. Yeah. Coincidence? Oh, no, it's not coincidence. In fact, it was Ryan that suggested I treat myself. Oh, he's really good to me that way. Bless his cotton socks. <laughs> <laughs> so, you and Ryan, what's all that about, then? Oh, well, um, we're just dead suited. And he's really mature. Oh, he'd have to be. Even Madonna would find your age got weird. Uh, Kylie, do you want to see if there's any biscuits left? No, there's not. I polished them off this morning. And you're all right with this? You're Ryan going out with someone old enough to be his mum. Oh, excuse me. I might be a few years <laughs> older than Ryan. <laughs> a but... few? What are you counting in? Dog years. <laughs> you know, I thought you were cool with me and Ryan. Hey, Ryan's not a kid anymore. He can do what he likes. You know, I'm just so pleased that she's not expecting me to call her Mrs. Connor. I mean, <laughs> can you imagine? Well, I am only six months older than you, so... Really? Yes. Oh, so then you must have been a gym slip mum. Oh, that is so exciting. Hey, did you ever go on Trisha? <laughs> Michelle, I'm just going to put your rollers in. Mm. Sorry, Mrs Oliver, we're running a bit behind, but if you just want to take a seat, we won't be long. Thank you. Plus, Ryan is dead good with Amy. Bless him. Oh, nice that one of you is. Oh, excuse me, but are you having a go at my parenting? Because I'm a brilliant mother, me. Oh, please. The amount of time Ken, Deirdre and Steve spend looking after Amy, I'm surprised she even recognises you. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We can't all be such an amazing mum as you, can we? I mean, what was Ryan's drug of choice again? Cocaine, wasn't it? Keep your voice down, Tracy. There's other customers in here. He's over that now. Yeah, because luckily he's got a new drug of choice these days. Me. Do you know what? One more word about my son. Right. Can you see what she's like? All I'm trying to do is have a quiet, peaceful relationship with the man I love. Come here. Right, yeah. you two take it outside. You now. are a sick joke, Tracy. You're mental. Yeah? Do you outside now. Direct. Direct. I'm ready for you now, Mrs. Oliver. The only reason you're doing any of this is because you're jealous of me and Steve. Oh, what would I want with a paunchy cab driver when I've got something much more tasty in my bed? You skip. Well, for God's sake! No, she's been after this for weeks! Ryan, help! Oh, stop it! The only reason she's remotely interested in you is to get at me! Oh, my God! The ego on it! Afternoon. Nice day for it. She's just been deliberately winding me up. So you just attack her? She just went at me! Ryan, little... What's going on, Tracy? Oh, Ken, you know exactly what she's doing. She's using my son to get at me. You're a sicko! Look, can everybody see what she's like? Oh, oh, this is mental. about me and Tracy. Fine! I've been gritting my teeth so much as I wonder I've got any left. Well, you, you said No, that... Ryan! I've been waiting for you to realise what an idiot you're being. You don't mean anything to her. Oh, I don't know how you can say that. Come home, Tracy. Uh, hang on a minute, Ken. I need paying for her hair first. And your curlers back. Mm. Ryan, I'll come round later. Oh, no, you don't. I don't want you anywhere near my flat ever again. Do you understand me? Hold on. No, Ryan. My house, my rules. And if you don't like it, mate, you know what you can do. It's times like this I can't help thinking about me, ma'am. 